This video will show you how to make a darkroom booth print template from scratch. Uh, for most of you, I would recommend starting with one of the built-in templates that we provide. There's several there and we're adding new all the time. But for those of you that really want to know how to create one from scratch, I'll step you through it. So basically we click on new and you choose the size of your border. You can give it a description if you want. Um, the file name won't be given until we actually save it. If you know you want your background to be something other than white, you can choose that here. I'm going to leave it white. And I hit OK. And basically I have a blank canvas. Uh, the first thing most of you will probably want to do is add some sort of background image. So we can click on the Add Artwork, Browse. And I've got some that are already sized at 2x6. And in this case I can just hit OK. So it fits because it's already a 2 by 6 but if it's not I can use the handles to scale um, the background image. The next thing you'll typically want to do is add the photos. I can add one photos individually or it's easier to add a strip all at once and you can see it remembers the last settings you used so in this case I want four rows in one column I can pretty much ignore all the other options for now and when I hit OK you see it's added four different images and the neat thing is is I don't have to um, no coordinates or anything I can just kinda move these around on the screen and you'll notice as I size it it is keeping uh, some spacing and I can change that here right now I've got it spaced at 18 pixels I could just say hey I don't need extra spacing but we'll just leave that as is so I can position this where I want it um, I can also use uh, arrow keys and I can go in and do coordinates if I want the next thing you'll probably want to do is um, add uh, maybe a logo on top of this. So again, I can just browse. In this case, it's a PNG file. And hit OK. And again, it's a little large, so I can just drag that and kind of put it where I want it. Um, and for most of you, you can probably stop, watch, stop watching now. Basically, you just hit Save, and you're done. I'll show you a couple other advanced features uh, for those that would like to know. Um, in this case you can see how I've got some text there that's a little bit hard to read so what I can do is we have these built-in shapes so instead of creating a new graphic or editing that in Photoshop I'm just gonna create a rectangle that is white and it's 50 percent opacity and we'll just hit OK and then I can drag this down here and size it. I'm not saying this is a good uh, design, design decision but just show you some of the things you can do and then over here you can think of this as uh, like layers I can move the rectangle underneath the graphic like so and uh, do that and then of course you have text fields where you can just type in text um, and this is where you would probably want to have uh, some good fonts that are um, there's quite a few readily available out there um, but you can pick uh, you know a font you like the size um, you'll notice there's all sorts of other options for the font and then I can just move my box around and if I ever needed to edit this again you just double click on it and you come in here and change the you know the font the color um, or any of the text and that's pretty much it that's how you create a print template from scratch thanks for watching